Hello, the cables. is my mic working? Hello. It sounds like Ravishna on comms. That's that's how he talks oh, in yeah? commentary. Yeah, he does that. Swagman played off stream. Returning chatter. Matsubushi. I did play a set on stream. You can watch the vod. All right, this is um. I when was play I did play. Off stream. I played. I played Tish lot off stream. Uh, I think I could have won if it was in winner's bracket. Wow, so true. <laughs> well, you know, once you're in loser's bracket, you know, once you've been labeled a loser, it's just demoralizing. It makes you play worse. The narratives we tell ourselves are the most, like, probably the biggest deciding factor in terms of uh, who beats who in a tournament. You're saying what Caleb said, but he used many less words. He said, if you think you're going to lose, how are you going to win? I mean, that's sort of true, right? But, like... Not in that one. Like, it's not just that though. It's literally just all about like the story that you are telling, or well, not telling, no but like control. the way you tell. I have absolutely zero control over my thoughts. They, uh, they uh, run, they run circles around me. It's a, it's a, it's a 2080 matchup. <laughs> my, me versus my thoughts. So, I just gotta hope. Me, my me is a. <laughs> Caleb right. kind of right. That when is Caleb wrong? Also, Army Life. I saw you guys made a uh, Falcon. That, Syndicus. You can live in Syndicus. Alright, this is huge also. I uh, think uh, Mason can win this. Well, I think Mason's the best player in the room right now. He could be. How else could he beat me when I was in winner's bracket? Before well, I was labeled a loser. That's true. He also had the headphones on, which I think... What did I fucking tell you? <laughs> what? what did I say? Don't give that man headphones. Look, he's, he's unleashed. I don't care. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't give a, I don't give a rat. I don't give a damn. He's going crazy with power. You, you can hear the game. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of hidden lore about why you do that. What? Change the use buffering on and off. All it is is... um. I like to live in the fantasy. I like to live in the fantasy. I would rather just keep talking about it with other people than, than hear the rumors. All it is is literally like... It's smoother if I keep it on, but it goes out of sync over time. Uh, so yeah. you have to reset it? That yeah. makes sense. Okay, that's perfect. That makes that, that's sense. literally all it is. It's just because, like... Is the audio you know when you, out of sync? Well, yeah, because what's happening is that it's waiting for f the frame to like uh, load instead of um, it just displaying however many frames it gets. Okay, that makes um, sense. It's literally buffering the frames? It's buffering the frames. Like, what, what else can I say? Like, it's, um... Like when th when more and more things happen on screen, basically like that's what slowly causes the frame rate. Especially when the, the cameras capture. move all around. No, the place. it's not. It's not the Close cameras. It's just the. No, it's just the um. The capture card. The capture, the capture card's card on a different moving? one to the cameras. No, I mean like the in-game cameras moving all around. Oh, the place. sorry. Yeah, yeah. So it's like all this new information and stuff yeah. that's on screen, off screen. Because what I found is if you, you this is a game you may have heard of. It's called Brawlhalla. I've it's a platform it. fighter, yeah. so you can choose how the camera moves. You can either have it like melee, or you can just have it static, sitting back yeah. the whole time. The background never moves because the camera is just watching the whole stage. It's like a, it's like a code in yeah, yeah. Sex. It's like the fixed camera. Right? Yeah, fixed yeah. camera. Yeah. And uh, if you, I used to play the game and I would like clip it, and I found that my clips were tiny in size mm. because there's no. They just have the same. Frame yeah, there's not the that much visual information changing. Screen. Yeah, unless the, when the camera's moving around. Yeah, I think change. that makes a lot of sense. The Which amount of really bits cool. is like a lot more stable. Because uh, you've heard of uh, interpolation frames, right? In Melee or in no, as a like concept? No, as a concept in video, right? So like in between, when you're compressing something, there's not like none of that is real unless you've got a video format that has it. So uh, it's boring, really boring. Anyways, but... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You're talking to a broadcaster. I'm yeah, listening. Well, well, you know, like all those old videos of like uh, you were like you were on YouTube a long time ago. Yeah. It was always like, is this person a Satanist? And it's like a uh, like just a glitchy video file where their like face looks all messed up because it's like the fr there, there was the, they we're missing a frame between two frames where they're looking because the, it's trying to interpolate what's happened between those frames, the information's missing, and it, you know, the computer can't get it right. They don't know what it, they can't reconstruct a human face, well, back in 2010. Anyways, Mason. <laughs> about to, about to lose this one, but it's okay. Well, like... It, he lost it, two it, earlier. The, um, 
the thing you're talking about is like what's it called like data data smushing or data yeah data yeah, data oh there's a word for that uh, and data mashing do data mushing, mushing. don't so mushing mushing yeah, data yeah, mushing yeah that's it that's, that. it that's it that's it so is that what you're talking about yeah, like yeah. where it's like trying to figure out the information between two frames yes. yeah yeah data mushing yeah, yeah yeah I know exactly what you're talking about now funny falcons crew yeah army wipes your crew I'm scared of syndicates is what I was saying that guy is pretty good at falcon he's and, okay um, He'll definitely rinse you in the matchup, though. In 3v3? Oh, well, I can't play Falcon Falcon to save my life, <laughs> unfortunately. I have no friends that play Falcon. I only have enemies. So, I don't have any matchup experience. Um, so, I was thinking against the, the Falcon crew, the three Falcons at floating point. I might go for Falco, just for that crew. It would um, be too bad, but you also have to be good at Falco that's um, to beat Cindy. I, no, think. I can't beat Cindy, but I can take a stock or two because it's cruise. Though. Okay, well then, I think you could get some stocks going. Then. And do you think? Oh man, because it all—it all depends on how they send the ordering out. I think the ordering yeah. is going to be very important in these uh, crews because the only crew that I think we can beat, no matter the order or time of day, is like Ravishna, Butsubushi, and mm -hmm. That crew, I'm confident against. Oh wow, that's really not what you want to do. He was trying to upbeat there to save Nana, I think, and he side beat to death. However. Keeping it even, so hopefully his mental has recovered. Do you believe in the mental damage, like the, the new arm set thing that everyone's talking about after the Reads episode? That like, well, it's obviously real. Momentum's real, despite the fact that it's not a mechanic in the game. No, it's very real. And, uh, I think in pretty much every fighting game it's real. I, I think it's even in competitive sport. Outside yeah, of anything it, competitive. It, honestly, in Type Racer, dude, I've, I've, I've been feeling that momentum go up and down, you know? It's a, it's a human nature thing yeah actually it's what makes you human in my opinion and yeah because that's why I never understood Mewtwo King being called the robot because he was the most human player he had the most human error like with those um, sure he wanted to play perfectly but it was all about his mental yeah his, his variation his, his variable was his emotional state which is the most human you can get and when he's playing well and he's in that good state he beat like Armada Prime Armada at Summit multiple yeah. times and like three Odin yeah. That's like the least robot thing in the world. Yeah. Is not being able to consistently play at your peak. <laughs> well, no Which shit, is, right? That's why we have robots, I think. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. They, they, can, they can do it every time. What's good... Okay, oh, like, because... I love that. I think what really... Really, okay. Like, I think really what uh, Music King epitomizes... Or ep epitomized... The epitome. Or epitome. Um, yeah, epitome. I love that one. Is that... Um, your punish game should be robotic. Yeah it, yeah. it should be something that you can rely on and something that you don't have to think about. <laughs> also, it should be really fake. Have you noticed that? Have what? you seen any old Mewtwo King? Like some of the older stuff? Oh, uh, it's the really old stuff are just like It's so checks. fake. Yeah. It's so <laughs> The really old stuff super. You just cool. jump check people for yeah. uh, for a living actually. <laughs> it was sick. People <laughs> just Crazy. fucking I wish no ready. Was like people just weren't ready for that shit back then. But like the whole momentum thing is basically like a human nature thing because it's like we, it's like you know you're going down the neuron pathways where you're being rewarded constantly, right? And so your brain is getting like good feedback over and over and over and over again. So it just makes you feel better and better and better, and it makes you play better and better and better, yeah. right? Until like something happens that is like so far away from the that neural pathway okay. that like you have to create something new entirely. It's like that's and that's competition, baby. And I think Mason's great at that. Actually, yeah, true. A I player, especially when he's down, he's great at creating these... I've been clutched up on Mason so many times, and it, it happened, that game that I unfortunately pulled the whole <laughs> setup apart. I was literally feeling the heat and figuratively, so I took my jacket off. But the point is, I was unstuck, you know? It was so winnable. Like, all I did was finish him up, but he, he clutches up. He's an amazing clutch player. Um, and I think you have to be kind of the chaos climbers as well. I don't nice! Think you can get oh! Oh, you know Mason's movements really nice. He's I think I think today he's been left riding everyone with his like wave dashes, and I'm like, damn, you are insane. He, the fact that he's brought this back to one stock each, and he only has Popo to his name right now, is like such a testament to like the experience. <laughs> he often yeah. says that uh, Nana actually weighs Popo down, and now the matchup even. Stuff like, he says stuff like that a lot, which I think is hilarious. Yeah, you, you're freed up of a lot of shit because you're not having to like spend. Worry about yeah, that. like. You're very already limited resources. I don't feel. T I mean, I obviously beat that again, but like I could feel. I feel like you could feel worse after a worse loss. Oh, like, totally, you know? totally, totally, totally. All 
All right, we're going back though. So like, are we just gonna pretend like this, this uh, box Falcon guy just existed forever? Like, and everyone just knows him? He just showed up out of nowhere. Scalpy. Yeah. No, he's been here before. He's it's just uh, infrequent. Okay. Um, and has come to other evac tournaments in the past. And he's been on Discord for a long time as well. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I love. I well, I, I hate when it happens to me, but I love that for Mason right now. This is sick. This is like a full fucking stock. That's crazy. Just grab you and you're dead. You just bring back wobbling. I mean, the man can do it. Yeah, so like what's the point? The big things in this matchup is that like it's not so much like like these days, right? But yeah. like it's not so much um getting rid of Nana. Like you don't have to worry about getting punished as hard anymore. Do you it's mean not, this matchup specifically? Or just versus last time. Okay, yes. Right. Um, you know, because oh, of wobbling sick. back in the day, you were like, get rid of Nana, so they can't do the fucking yeah. wobble. That's still how I play the matchup. And like you still should, right? The thing is though. I think the real strength of having Nana is just recovery. If you have Nana, then like Ice Climbers gets to live a lot longer than they normally would. And I think that's a bit more important than having her nearby for punishes. Um, like you do get a lot more out of your punish with her nearby. The thing is, is that like, you know, when you're playing Ice Climbers, you're kind of just aiming to finish with like a smash attack or like yeah. just read into a smash attack. So like getting a grab with Popo is just sort of like, all right, time to set the fucking pace now, right? Yes. And whether you have Nano there or not, doesn't change. You know? That's true. Oh my god! Oh my what, god. A god. Oh. what the fuck is that? He's the headphones on. It's over. <laughs> I'm sorry. The goat of all time. He's actually playing cracked. It's like, uh, you know that meme where it's like cereal with milk? And then like cereal without milk? That's Mason with or without headphones. <laughs> I don't know this me. <laughs> I don't know this me. It's like cereal with milk and it's like dry Bowser. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. I love that then. That's really funny then. Cereal yeah. with milk. Well, there goes, there goes Nana, so it's an even matchup, bro. Um, and well. Popo is... I, I thought about it because I was watching Yellow versus uh, Shoes for Men, which is, yeah, which is Ice Climbers versus... Oh, you missed that ledge dash. And you Boo. Stop. That is sad. Boo. Um, Yellow versus Shoes for Men, which is Ice Climbers versus Ness. Yeah. Ness is built like an Ice Climber, you know? He kind of looks like... A, like if you put what like do you a, mean by that? If you put like a jacket on them, like a hoodie or whatever they're wearing. Oh, yeah, they're the same type of person. Yeah, 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 they're, yeah, like, yeah. they're like a similar... I guess they're both children. <laughs> assuming, assuming they I don't know the law. Ice Climbers law. I don't know how old Ice Climbers are. Or if they're related or dating or... They friends. are not related. That much has been confirmed. They they're not brother. They're not... Similar. Okay, at least they're not brother and sister. They're not related by family. Oh, okay. oh, see, see this, that's what I mean, right? You can just get way more options recovering as ICs if you have Nana there. Yes. Like, Squall Hammer takes you further, takes you higher, but and having he's back in the corner, really though, good. because he went back for Nana. Yeah, yeah, so you I have to be careful. Have the oh my god! How did he do that? Oh, and then he didn't miss the ledge dash this time. A uh, lot of good plays coming here from Mason, though. It's just... It's like, he, it's like he calls out to the ledge, he yells at it, and he just fucking magnets on, and he doesn't mm. have... That was crazy. He was below the ledge. He just he yelled. All right. We grabbed ledge. McLeod is gonna want to stall at this point. Um, <laughs> right, I, I'd be stalling already. If I was right now though, it's looking like the Mason show because so the hammer is just putting in work in this matchup right now. It's it's short, it's stubby, but it's just long enough to stuff Peach out of things. Kai, what are you talking about? They're short stubby hammers. Yeah, they are. I don't want to put them. <laughs> but what do you mean? anyways, the up smash potential, like this kills, I think, at this percent. I think up smash. Did the icicle? I think it both hit. Yeah. By the way, this is. Oh. Oh, I did not oh kill. Oh my god, yeah, lying. it was a, a single. If they hammer. both hit, they kill. It'll be, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh my did god. They, oh Great my god. grab. Oh. He went for something. I don't know about that. Though. This is so know. tricky now. You've got to be careful. <gasps> oh, no. That's so sad. Oh, it's fine. It's it's still okay. Just don't fuck up this ledge. Just do not fuck this ledge up. I've seen it happen too many times. Oh my Let's god. Go. The mix up was fucking impeccable. Come on, Mason. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. He used to jump oh, too. Oh no. no, no the grab, grab, no grab, no grab. Hit. It's fine. It's fine. He's off stage. McLeod is about to clutch though. Oh, that's so good. McLeod's clutching harder than he's ever had to versus Ice Climbers. 
Oh, it's I, I want to wave dash up smash. Ah! Live. Live. Great DI, though. Dude, the power shield on the down smash was insane, by the way. That... McLeod is full of power shields. He is. Oh! He's just sitting inside Good. and he just lets them run. Under shoot. This is looking really hard for me. I cannot he believe he got the platform. platform. Oh, Blizzard. I cannot believe this is happening. Blizzard, ice block, in the corner. Power shield from McLeod. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my goodness, dude! That was sick. He's oh, insane. that was sick. He's actually that was the craziest. Sick. All right, so it is two to one now. Mason stays alive. That's Clutch. so crazy. That I'm telling you, the mental, dude, the mental game. Oh, yeah. We all we all knew the mental game. We all knew it. Um, but, yeah, just, like, Speaking insane to hit that, by the way, because, like, I was... Expecting. You're right about the narratives, though. I think there's a lot of mental outside of the match that you have to worry about as well. Yes. Especially when it comes to individuals. Like, for example... No jump. No jump. No, it's, it, it can be so Jova. Oh, come on, one more back here, surely. Ah. By the way, that clutch without Nana, once again proving Nana's just weighing down the Popo. Yeah. Have I you heard about the, uh, oh my god, oh jab. my god, jab into... Oh. He got pivots full pop there, by the way. Oh my god. Do you think he wants to pivot full pop? No. Oh, me neither. Um, Mason's really good with uh, actual, like... You know, in-game momentum, as in like, like friction and slidings and stuff like that. Yeah. If you've ever like tried to interact in close quarters, like somehow, like Popo and Nana like drift in and out, and you're just like, not only are you not sure who you're hitting, but like it makes very, things tricky. Yeah, it's very ambiguous almost the movement. It's yeah. It's kind of crazy. Because you know about Popo Force, right? Do you know about Popo Force? Never okay. Heard of it. When Nana is a certain range from Popo, she is pulled with gravity towards Popo. So, like, she can be in the air doing an action and she'll still be, like, drifting closer to Popo. You got, another, you got a bot? We got a bot. Or oh, possibly a first time chatter who's just trying to help out. Um, nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Alright, but this is looking a bit rougher though and, like, you know, it's just, this is one of those ice climber stages that is just a bit rough because they fall really slow, they're floaty, yeah. and not only that, they also, um, yeah, they're just, oh, they're also light in weight as well. They're, they they're floaty, light. they're light, and they fall slow. Dying off the top is oh, not hard. Oh, no. Okay, this is rough now. It's different. Look, but I've got, i got a lot of good things to say about Mason in this set. I just think it's unfortunate that he's up against the winner of Smash on Scott. Two, yes. Smash on Scott two. <laughs> yeah, the winner of Smash on Scott two. I saw the most, uh, the most watched clip on your channel. I on Twitch. A, yeah, I saw a man named Lemons. Lemon. Yeah, yeah. It's a good clip. He loses. Yeah. And they they both just sit there for a while. Yeah, they do. I the, thought the, there was the set's more set. over, but they both just sit there for a while, and like we're like, all right, like shake hands, move on. All right, GGs though. Honest to God, that's a GG's. That's what, what more can I you saw say? Some, I saw good games. Um, it's me and Tish now, isn't it? In it. In it. All right. Good luck.